Hello friends, uh, myself Neera Sharma, I am from IT department, uh, on behalf of Guru KPO, Biani Girls of College, I am just representing my topic, uh, introduction of Java Enterprise Edition, which is the basically part of the advanced Java. Uh, basically, uh, Java is a object oriented programming language. Uh, in object oriented programming language, uh, basically we define the classes and objects. So classes is user defined data type and object is a basically uh, instance of a particular class. So we have the three type of additions of this language. So we have the three additions J2SC which is called standard edition, second is J2EE which is called enterprise edition and third is called J2ME which is called micro edition. So first of all uh, we just dis discuss about the J2SC, what is the meaning of J2SC? J2SC is basically the Java standard edition which is basically define the core part of Java. We use the state standalone applications, we just define the standalone application inside the J2SC and we create the window based applications also and GUI based applications also inside the J2SE. In the, in the case of J, uh, Java J2E, we just discuss about the Java Enterprise Edition. Java Enterprise Edition is basically defined the advanced Java part. So Enterprise Edition is defined the web applications and distributed applications. So basically we have the JDBC technology, JSP Java Servlet and uh, J, Java Server Pages. Inside this technology we have Enterprise Java Beans also, Struts also, Hibernate, Ajax. So we have lot of technologies inside the uh, J, J2E Enterprise Edition. We discuss about the different editions of the Java J J2E enterprises. So we just further discussing about the Java apps which we are using in the distributed in nature. So first of all uh, we discuss about the enterprise apps which are high level security followed. In J2E usefully is basically that uh, we have the XML part which is called XML is a extensible markup language uh, which is useful for uh, uh, user defined tags. So XML structure document we are following inside the J2E part. It is a basically standard for developing enterprise additions, right? Uh, so we just discuss about that uh, uh, the enterprise applications or maybe enterprise distributed applications can be involved inside the J2E part. So uh, we have the rich APIs also. APIs is a application programming interface. We have inbuilt files in inbuilt files inside the uh, J2E server, right? So first of all, uh, we just discuss about the client system also. That uh, client system is basically defined with the browser. So Browser is just giving the request to the J2E server and that web container is managed the JSP pages as well as servlet and we have another type of container which is called EJB container. So EJB container is getting the information from the J2E server. So first of uh, we just we just uh, giving the views with the JSP pages and uh, further uh, business logic is written in the servlet and then given to the EJB container. Thanks for watching my video. Uh, if you like my study material, please like, share and subscribe on Guru KPO channel. Thank you so much. Thank you very much.